Hey guys, Digital Brink here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can disassemble and repair our ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 2 laptops. Uh, before we can begin though, we have to be able to disable the internal battery, which is necessary due to the battery being hardwired to the motherboard, as well as also having an always-on USB port. To disable the battery though, we first need to be able to get into the BIOS. So I'm going to show you one way that we can access the BIOS, which is by disabling fast startup within Windows. It's actually a pretty simple process. I'm going to walk you through it now. Uh, so to begin, what we need to do is open up the control panel in Windows. Uh, if you aren't familiar with how to access control panel, just open up your start menu and just start typing in control panel. And you'll see it there as the first option. Just click on that to open it and you'll be taken to the screen that you see here on my screen. Uh, then what we want to do is access hardware and sound. Just click on the title for that section. Then from that menu, select power options. Once inside power options, you want to go to the top left where it says choose what the power buttons do. And click on that. And in this screen, we'll see the overall settings for all of the power options for the machine. Now you can see here under shutdown settings, one of the options is turn on fast startup recommended. You can see on mine it's checked probably is on yours as well, but right now I can't unclick it. So what we need to do is go up to the top and click on where it says change settings that are currently unavailable. Click on that and you'll see turn on fast startup has become available to me. I'm just going to uncheck that, go down to save changes, click on that. And then from here you can close the control panel and shut down the machine. So once you shut down the machine, you're going to reboot and I'll show you what that process is going to look like here in just a second. All right guys, so I've shut down my machine here so you could take a look at what this is gonna do. But once I hit the power button, uh, the Lenovo message will come on screen. Underneath it, there'll be a small message that says to interrupt the startup, press the enter key. Uh, and then from there, we'll be able to go into the BIOS and then disable the built-in battery. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So I'm hitting the bu power button now. The message appears on screen, so I hit the enter key. And from here, uh, if you take a look at the menu, the F1 key is what we want to enter into the BIOS setup utility. It'll go into the setup. This normally takes just a couple seconds. Then we want to hit the right arrow key to navigate over to config. Then the down arrow key to go to power. Then hit enter. And then on this screen, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says disable built-in battery. Now you don't want to have your AC currently attached to the computer because as soon as the AC is attached, it's going to re-enable the battery regardless. So in this case, we want to make sure that the AC power is unconnected to the PC. Then when we hit enter, the PC is going to be automatically uh, turned off. And then from there, we'll be able to open up the back and uh, disassemble the computer. So let's do that now. So I'll hit the enter button. It says system will be powered down if you select yes. We'll hit yes. The system turned itself off. And now we can open up the back and uh, start servicing the system. All right, guys, now that the battery has been disabled, we're going to take off the back of the machine. Uh, you can see here that there are seven screws that are holding this in place. There's three down the middle, two on each side. I'm going to unscrew those now. And then what we'll do is lift up from the hinge side and then pull the back out towards us. Um, there are tabs that are located all along the front of the backing. Uh, you don't want to try to pry those up or force it in any way because those could potentially snap off, preventing the back from being held in place any longer. So we want to lift it up towards the hinge side and then pull it out. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what all that looks like here in just a second. So let me take off these screws. And when you undo these screws, you'll notice that they don't actually come all the way out. They won't attach to any, uh, they won't attach to your magnetic tips if you're using it. Uh, that's because they're kind of like held in place in the back so that you don't lose them. It's actually a pretty nice little measure that Lenovo had added in here. And if anybody's wondering, I am using the iFixit ProTech Toolkit to disassemble this. I'm not sponsored in any way. I just really like their tools. Um, so, you know, I'll leave a link in the description for anybody who's interested, but uh, definitely these are useful to have on hand. So now I'm going to be using a plastic spudger that was included as part of the Protect Toolkit, 
If you don't have one of these on hand, you could just use a credit card or even your fingers if they're a little bit smaller. But I'm just going to pry along the back edge here, lifting all along the way. Um, you'll hear it snap, but that's just the snaps coming undone from, from the backing. Once you have that undone, you can lift on the hinge side and then just pull the back towards you. So let's just take a quick look at the anatomy of this machine before we start uh, disassembling it. So here we can see this is where the video card is along the back here. These heat coils kind of go along and connect two different fans, one on each side that kind of um, protect your machine, help keep it cool. Um, here beneath that coil are two RAM slots. In my case, I have both of them filled out with eight gigabyte uh, RAM modules, but yours might be a little bit different. They're protected by these Mylar uh, plastic sheets just to make sure that the components don't interact or touch anything. Over here we can have, we have two M2 slots. One of them for me is filled out with my uh, 512 gigabyte NVMe drive, but there is a slot here for a second drive if you wanted to add one. Along the bottom is the 80 watt hour battery. There is a wire here that runs along the bottom of the battery and that is to connect the left and right speakers which are located here and here. And then over on the uh, left side of the machine is the Wi-Fi module. So um, all I'm going to show you today is how we can remove and replace the RAM modules and the NVMe drives since those are likely what you're going to be replacing most most frequently. However, um, the other components in here such as the Wi-Fi card uh, and the battery, they pretty much all work the same. It's mostly plug and play with, with Lenovo. So here we have the NVMe drive. The NVMe drive is held in place by one screw here on the uh, right side of the drive. I'm just going to undo that. That comes completely out. And then once the drive is free from the battery, you just lift up on the drive just a little bit. It kind of comes free. And then from there, just lift up probably about a 20 degree angle. You'll start to feel resistance. Uh, and then just kind of wiggle it out of place. And that's it. Now the drive is free. And then to replace or put in a new card, you just push it back in place from roughly at about 20 degree angle. Um, there's a little notch here. I don't know how easy it is to see on the video, but you want that most of the way in and you'll start to feel resistance when you push it um, most of the way. Then just push the card down and then the notch that's at the back of the NVMe drive should line up with your screw hole. So I'm gonna put that screw back in. And that's it. And now the drive is installed. You can do the same thing with the second one here. This one is uh, protected by a piece of uh, tape that'll protect the electronic components. You can just re remove that tape, put the second drive in after you've removed this screw. It's exactly the same way. For the RAM modules, like I said, they're protected by this Mylar covering. If you kind of peel this back, you can see the, uh, the RAM sticks are actually held in place by two spring-loaded levers that connect on either side. So what we want to do is pry those away. You just just pull them away just slightly and you'll see that the card lifts up a little bit and then this will not go back in place. Do that on either side and then the RAM module pops up at about a 40-45 degree angle and then from there you can just pull the stick out. So I'm going to put this stick back in. Pretty much the same thing, about a 40, 45 degree angle. Once the card is in place, you just push down on either side. The springs will start to push out and then they snap in once you have it all the way down. And that's it. Once they're locked in place, your RAM is installed. It's the same thing on both sides. For the wireless card, I'm not going to remove it uh, as part of this demonstration, but there's a screw here, just like there was on the M2 drive. Um, you just undo that, pop this up, pull it out. Now, there is a wire uh, that connects to this that's actually for the wireless antenna. You'll have to pop these out if you need to fully replace this card. But if you're just reseeding it for any purpose, you just undo 
this screw, pop this up, pull it out. It's almost exactly the same as it was for your RAM or your NVMe drive. For your battery, there are four screws that hold battery in place. One over here on the far right hand side and then three additional ones across the top. There's also a wire that goes along the bottom here like we talked about that connects the left and right speakers. And then there's also a wire that comes over here and connects it to the uh, motherboard itself. Mine here is covered by tape, but if you were to lift that up, it's just a, uh, a normal white connector there, multi-pin. So you'll have to undo this, unstrap this wire from along, along the bottom, undo those screws, and then you'll be able to replace the battery. Now when you're closing up your machine, you just do everything in reverse. You take your top, make sure that those tabs go in first along the front, lift it down, kind of push down on it just to make sure everything kind of snaps into place. And then you just redo your screws. All right, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hope to see you guys here for another video pretty soon. Thanks a lot.